This is Madeline from Madeline's Craft Room and I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator from Vancouver Island, BC. And tonight I'm going to show you another celebration product. This is the Tree Lot dies and most commonly you've probably seen these dies here. The Camper. Isn't it ever something? And so I'm going to show you a little bit more about how to use these dies and what they look like. Because I got to admit, when I started playing with this, I really was scratching my head. What is that? What do I do with that? So I'm going to show you and then that way it will make it easier for you. But before we do that, I'm just going to show you there's so many. Last time we talked about the beautiful hippos. And this time we are going to talk about this one here. So this is the tree lot dies and there are a lot of dies, 24 dies in this set. And so when you spend $120 in a purchase of Stampin' Up! product, then you get to choose this one or another item. But you will be able to see this has many, many opportunities, not just Christmas, any time of year and when I say Christmas it also um, is something that coordinates with um, this stamp set called trees for sale hi Deb <laughs> in our uh, mini catalog so it is on page 39 and this is the matching one as you can see um, the dog and the trees, um, those are some that are similar, just like this one here. This is the trees for sale. So there are some dies that go specifically, but I'm gonna show you tonight how you can use it uh, for sure without those, at, um, those uh, stamps in that stamp set. So first of all, we're gonna look here at the trees. <laughs> Hello there, Deb. So you can see here, there are the solid uh, dies of the tree. So here is this size, size two and size three. And then these are the detailed ones. So we've got the big, medium and the small. And how you can use those is you can add the detailed die to the same color cardstock and then it's gonna look like this, which Yes, it's the same color, but you can see how it adds so much more texture. And so that is really nice doing it that way. But there are options. So you can take the solid die and then the detailed die of a different color and you can coordinate them to make it a different color. Or you can reverse it. And so here I had a darker color as the detail, but you could take it and put it as your solid and then use the lighter color and you get a totally different look. But again, those are the different options just with the tree dies alone. So I'm gonna put that over there. And of course, now I'm gonna show you the most famous part and that is these absolutely amazing dies. And, oh, there's Tanya, hi Tanya. <laughs> And this die kind of confused me at the beginning. I thought, what on earth is that? Well, they have it cutting out as one die, but it's the two pieces. So it is the piece that goes on the top of the camper and also on the bottom. So really smart the way they've done that. And then you've got, of course, here's the camper. And you can see this is the window of the, in the uh, camper and this is the door window and then you wonder well what is this and this took me a while to figure out this is the curtain that you can put inside the window isn't that ever amazing the details that they've thought of for this and of course I'm going to move these out of the way then you can um, make different colors and one thing that I do when I'm learning um, what I can do with the different dies is I really like to be able to cut out a whole bunch of different colors and different kinds of paper, whether it be designer paper, whether it be some foils or our cardstock, and then it gives me a chance to be able to play. 
And this way, um, it's also great because you can take any one of these and then you can coordinate um, whatever color you, look at that, look at, you can make whatever color of a camper you like, or you can mix it up and you can put um, some metal, ah, come here. You could use some metal uh, for the roof and the bottom. So that's another way you can do it. Oops. And then of course there is also um, here, if you want this specifically to metal, you could just cut this piece out and you could add that onto your camper. And of course the wheels, same thing. You can take um, the wheels and you can cut them out in black. And I was thinking, yes. So the window piece, you see how you could put that, cut that out in black. How big is it? Okay, just a sec, Tanya. Got my hand here. And then if you put this, you won't see the other side of the circle. So what an easy way that you could have a tire also for your camper. How big is it? Uh, how's the best way to describe that? What do I have here? I got a little tiny ruler. So the camper is about, well, depends how far you stick out here. Approximately two and a half by two and three quarter approximate, or not one and three quarter, pardon me, one and three quarter. So it is a, a fairly decent size. Um, which is really nice. I like that size that they made it up. Oh, you want to see? Hold it up. The die. Okay, that's... These are the dies. Oh, the storage holder. Oh! Okay. So here I cut out all the different metals. So here's the campers with all the pieces. And then here is all the different color campers. And then this is all the tops and bottoms that I've put in there. And so it's actually really fun to be able to create your own camper. Don't we wish? <laughs> Very custom built. So that is just like too much fun. And then I should say there's another thing that you can do with this too. This die here, you could also used to put on if you're making like a Christmas die or Christmas scene you could also decorate it for Christmas and these are the additional pieces again of the 24 dies so we'll look at this piece this is a light string of lights and this is a post to be able to string your lights um, of course a dog and of course there's the wreath and the bow a ribbon and of course, this is the piece that I had showed you, a dragonfly. And then we have, I'm not sure what this is other than little twigs, maybe for starting a campfire. Hello, Carol. And then of course, we got some stars that you can have some twinkling stars in the sky. And this could be a campfire. Or I also saw somebody put it as if it's like a little tree in uh, one of those little things that they build on the bottom. And of course, how cute is that? So you can see that they have set, yeah, I'll just take it from here, hang on. Again, I've cut out all the different pieces. And look at this, this wreath will fit exactly on the door. Like, my goodness, did they ever plan things so beautifully with this set. So how pretty would that be to have a Christmas wreath at, in the window and then you could put that, uh, like I had showed you here, this red piece, I don't know if Carol saw it, but you could also then put that on the camper as well. So pretty adorable. Okay, and then there was um, these pieces and I honestly couldn't figure that out. The only thing that I can think of is that maybe it's the steps going into the trailer. So if anybody else has any ideas, please let me know. But that's the only thing that I could uh, picture in my brain. 
So there you go. That is all the 24 dies. And so we are going to make a card and I'm going to need some help. But before we make the card, I also want to show you, as I had mentioned, this light string that comes in this set here as well, the dies. Now there are many different ways that you could um, do this. You could, of course, could take your marker or your blend and you could color in one of the circles and that could make it a light. You could also take um, your, your um, embellishments and I looked at all these different ones and these ones would all kind of fit. So in color 22 to 24, the in color uh, 2001 to 22, all those round, uh, especially the bigger one, they will all fit. And then of course our glossy dots. So when you go to put these on, actually I think even the medium sized one would work for this. What color should we use? Oh, let's use yellow like a bright light. So you can see here, we could put that right on there and then you've got a beautiful light. So that is one idea, other than, like I said, other than actually coloring. Then there is another idea, and I didn't bring a bright color, but I'm just, I have a green, so I'm just gonna show you with the green. And you could take a uh, pencil. You like that? Yeah, this is really nice with the, the light string, isn't it? And this eraser hasn't been used. And so what you can do with this one, I'm just gonna bring in my paper because we'll do a test, is just dip it in some ink. Yep. And then if you, can't pick it up here, and if you go over that like that, then you've colored your lights as well. So that's another way and you're excited about these dyes. Yes, you, you, oh yes, Tanya, you gotta get them. They are one of my absolute favorites. I have fun with the hippos, but yes, I, <laughs> I love these ones. And I know my son will love building scenes with these ones as well. So another product that is in our mini catalog, and I'll just quickly go to it here. Whoops, I'm knocking everything over is right, whoopsie, where is it? Right here, sorry, it was right in front of my nose. They call it Paralyzed Enamel Effect Basics. And it's really hard to see what really that is all about, but this is what it is. Look how big these containers are. So you get a white, a pearlized white, and then you get a black, pearlized black, and a pearlized red. Like, woohoo! Beautiful! So, of course, we're going to try the bright color. Let's try some red. And these are kind of like in a little blue bottle that has a little squirt. And again, it's sometimes nice to be able to just try it on something that you're. just so you can get a feel of it. So like that, and it will harden. So you're gonna have like a little pearlized dot. Doesn't that look like an embellishment when you do it that way? Really, really cool. Now I should also show, show you, cause that one's really small. If you don't wanna put the ribbon on here, what you can do uh, with the wreath is you can also put some little berries. So again, just very gentle pressure and lift up. You gotta get these, yes, I know. They are pretty amazing. I don't recall us having this before. And you see how, look, you can make those little berries. Isn't that ever cute? And of course we want a big blotch. So we are going to, can you still see, yep. We're gonna make it bigger. And you see how you just put a little more pressure and then you got a bigger dot. 
And of course, if you don't want any white showing, you know, then just put it right up to the edge, just like that. And there, again, it's going to dry. And then, voila, you've got it made. So I'm going to take a tissue and wipe it. I think that would be a smart idea before you close it up because I could see that getting dry and um, plug up the ends. So that is another really cool. But you can see even just by using these dots, what a difference. Like, let's try purple. Oh, one of my favorite colors. Let's try a purple dot. Oh, I put it in the wrong. That's what happens when I don't use my tool. But anyway, you oh, and look, I put my finger in it. But see, it survived. It's just on my silicone mat. Isn't that ever neat? And of course, that yellow is just like a wow. So this looks really boring now when you compare to all those beautiful colors. So I'm going to put this way over there so I don't put my finger through it again. Oops, and this one. But yeah, I don't know if you can see, but it really does look like an embellishment. Like it's it's raised, if you can see it there. Whoops, there goes my wreath. Come on, wreath. Oh, upside down. I'm not touching it because let it dry and then I'll flip it. <laughs> So don't move it. Try to have it in one place and let it dry. But these are fun, fun. So that's another goodie in our mini catalog. All right. So let's get creating now. I'm going to put that all over there. And my cat, oh dear. <laughs> my catalog's blowing in the wind from the fan. I dump my garbage. Oh boy, what a way to start. So let's see how we want to start. I would say normally I start with a small card front piece. So you could definitely do it that way. And of course, if you're using um, this, the blending brushes, you could take, so I'm just gonna show you some different ways to create a background and sky switch those around so if we were going to get some green for the the land I also like to kind of turn it around so I can um, kind of see where I'm going first tap off and then come on and we're just going to make some grass so get a little bit more so we're going to have some trees. Well, there we go. How long does it take for those to dry? Good question, Tanya. I've just started playing with them because I just got them. That is a good question. I will let you know when I... Well, I'll check tomorrow or check a little bit later and see... And I'll let you know by tomorrow how long it takes to dry. So there we go. We got some green. Maybe a little more because we're going to overlap them a little bit. So kind of right in there. Okay, now let's close up the green. It's nothing like putting the wrong color brush in the wrong color ink. So I find that if you can keep it uh, closed and just the one you're working on that definitely helps okay now we're gonna do the sky it'll be kind of a wild sky here I'm kind of rushing but you can take your time of course and do it a little bit more slow in circles I'm just gonna make Kind of a wild sky here. Go a little bit this way. Okay. All right. So that is definitely one way that you can do it. Um, and we will build a scene where, okay, trees. We got some choices. I would love some help with this. We have some uh, soft succulent with 
evening evergreen or we have just some dark early or uh, evening evergreen and I think I have two garden green trees left so what do you think we should do should we use a combo kind of set up a scene here hmm anybody got any ideas Maybe we should put one over here. Oopsie. Yes? Okay, now the thing is, I may move some of this around too when we decide on our camper. But we're just kind of... I like to not glue everything down until I know where I want to put things. All right, what color camper are we going to do? Your turn to vote. Let's see, we got some poppy red. Oh, and of course we could do a white trailer with the color, or camper I should say. Uh, what do I have here? I have Coastal Cabana. I have Garden Green. Um, I think that's Granny Apple Green. Mango. Melody. Uh, let's see. Oh, we got the Tempting. No, I'm tempted. I love this color. This is that beautiful Tranquil Tide, as you could see by the sample I made. I used the Tranquil Tide with the Starry Sky. Anybody have an idea what color camper we should choose? Hmm. Let's see. Sometimes it looks nice just to do it on the white. You like the Mango Melody. Oh, with the white? And then if you use mango, what color would you put on the top? Would you put the white? The white on the top and the white on the bottom? Red! <laughs> okay, we're going to have a vote here. Which one? Red? Yeah, the red would look really nice, Marsha, wouldn't it? It would really stand up on that green background. Green. Oh, boy. Green will look too much like the trees, though. Or do you mean this one, Tanya? Yeah, I think I kind of like the idea of the green. Uh, let's have a look. What's another option? Red. What? Could, well, of course, you know what would look, of course, really nice would be, again, the the white or we could nope that looks too wild or blue in the sky oh so you're thinking like the one that I did Tanya do we have a vote yet uh, it's always a little slower to get your guys's reactions there that's what it would look like with the bottom with white or trash that idea how about if we use silver silver there and red and white okay try starry sky with the mango uh, i don't have small starry sky but I do have, you like the silver. Oh, okay. Should we go with that one then? Yes, with the silver. Okay, we got it. Let's put these guys back. Isn't that fun? You can customize it all. Ooh. Okay, so first thing we're going to do, where did I put my silicone mat? Oh, my silicone mat's over there. Hang on, I'm going to grab another one. We do not want to use a wet silicone mat. Okay, but we only need one. So we're going to put some glue on here. So this part we know. We're going to put this here. Try some... 
for some reason not a fan of the white. Oh, okay. You like the silver though. Okay, we're going to put that right on the bottom. Actually, we should have put a, do I have a black dot? I don't have a black dot, but this is a dark silver. Oh, well, that won't work either. Okay, will that fit in there? No. Okay, I'll have to leave a room so that later I can put a circle in there. Okay, so we're going to put this one on the top. Isn't that ever cute? Okay, so now we want to be able to put a window. Are we going to use silver as our window? Or are we going to make it white? So again, these are all the different pieces. Should we put white in the window? That might be easier to match. Color vellum yellow for the... Oh! Oh, yes, that would have been a... Oh, that's a great idea. Deb's saying use a vellum, and then you could use a little bit of yellow to make it look like a light. Oh, okay. Should we do that? Hang on. I think I've got a piece of vellum. I think. Let me see. Do I have it right here by my desk? I do. Right here. Let's cut a piece. <laughs> I've moved stuff around. You think I could find where things are? So I'm actually not going to even cut it the same size because that's another thing you can do. You can just cut it a little bit bigger, which might be a little easier anyway. And actually, it would have been easier to color on. Yep, that would be even easier. Okay, hang on. I'm going to grab my yellow. Deb has a really good idea. Yellow, 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 yellow. Oh, I love it when we can share ideas. Great idea. Okay, so now we can take some yellow. And I am going to put this now on here. And we're just going to color some yellow onto our... Oh, that's a great idea, Deb. Love it. I think that would be even enough. So, let's close this up. Now, do you think that we have to put that... Yeah, I guess we still have to put that on white, though, don't we? What do you think? Because otherwise it will look like the ground or whatever is behind the cabin. So, let's cut a piece here. Look at us. You guys have so many great ideas. Okay, so then now we're going to take this piece and we are going to, let's see, I'm going to go this way. We're going to attach it like this. And because it fits perfectly in the inside, what I am going to do, because I don't have any scotch tape, I'm just going to use my tear and tape and I'm not going to um, I am not going to peel off this layer, so it will just stay there like that. Let's have a look. Oh, look at that. That looks really cool. I wonder if we have enough, or maybe just color a little bit more in one spot. I guess we could have done it a little bit bigger. Okay, let's cut another smaller piece here. Not too small, Madeline. And we will put that one here. Oh, that's a silver. We want white. Okay. Oh, it's going to stick to my finger. Come on. All right. The end of my tape is right here. Oh, cool. All right. Look at that. Isn't that ever neat? And like I say, if you really like to have 
that trailer piece, you could also cut this like that. And then we'll put some glue on this red piece. And then we have a silver hitch. Woohoo! Look, whoopsie, I'm getting excited and throwing paper around. <laughs> there. That is really cool, Deb. Thanks for sharing. Oh, there's Kathy. All right. Well, you have to go back. Deb had a fantastic idea for these windows. Lovely. Okay. So here we go. Now we're going to look at creating our scene. Can we still see it? Yep. So now we have, oh, I think we have enough room, don't we? I think we do. So should we put the big tree in the front? No, we should put the big tree in the back. So let's put some, well, I guess the thing is we could pop up some of these too. Does anybody think we should pop up any trees? Tell me if you think we should pop any trees. I'll put that there. Yeah, because we could pop these ones. I think we're going to pop the the camper for sure. So while I put sentiments, or sentiments, while I put dimensionals on the camper, you tell me if we should pop the trees. Of course. <laughs> All right. Just checking. So we're going to put some of them on there. And of course... Let's bring in our trees. This page is getting low. Well, I have, yeah, they'll fit on the top. No problem. Okay. So, I lost my garbage, so I'm going to just have to put them in a piece. All right, so what are we going to do? Put this one in the front. I am not going to press it down. I am just going to kind of lay it down. And then that way we can make sure we have it exactly where we want it. Because it will depend where we put our camper on. These are such cool campers, and it's amazing how you see these campers everywhere. You love those trees? I know. And it's lovely how you can you can choose, isn't it? So what do you think? Would it put, put it here? I think the trees are okay. Maybe this one... Oops, I pressed that one down too much. Nope. Just didn't like how there was a piece showing there. I think we're okay. All right. So there we have that. Now, if we have used red, then maybe we need to use a red card front. Let me grab my paper here. Uh, I think I've got some made here of red. Yep. I think. Nope, that's real red. Do we have a poppy? Maybe I don't have a poppy. Hmm. I don't have a poppy red. Think it will be okay? We could go green. I have evening evergreen. What do you think? You think it will pop more with the red? I don't know. Green looks pretty good too. 
Okay, guys, what do you think? I'm kind of leaning to green. Green, yeah, me too. Okay, so right now we are going to glue that on. There's my glue right here. Well, there we go. Oh, we didn't put a curtain in our in our window of our cabin. Where are they? Um, right here. What color should we put? Green. Oh boy. I either have mango, granny green, or I have blue, which I know that won't fit. Oh, and I have a darker red, the real red. So let's have a look. There's granny green. This is mango. Oopsie. That's not bad. And then this would be the darker red, the real red. Which one do you like? Let me know. And while you guys are thinking of that, I am going, oh, mango. You like the mango, okay. Is I thought for the inside of the card. Ooh, that's too mango. All right, it's mango. I thought I would put that for the inside of my card. This stamp set that coordinates with this is actually not available right now. I think they said in about a week, if I remember correctly, um, it should be coming back. But these dies, like I said, I don't have the stamp set and look at all the fun that I am having with these dies. These dies are amazing. So I'm just going to put a tiny little bead right there. And we're going to put the mango curtains. Look at, we can even decorate with curtains. What details. <laughs> so there it is. And then of course there would be other options if you are um, doing this one. You could use the sky. Uh, this embossing folder is called Into the Clouds. And if you can see the texture, that's what that one looks like. So you could definitely use that in the background. The other thing that I thought would be kind of fun is our dies for the Waves of Inspiration because they have some, these are some pre-cuts. What I do is when I have leftover pieces, I keep them in a clear envelope and then I am able to um, have some of my extra pieces when I need them. Okay, is there not a small white? There's got to be one in there. There's one right there. No, it's a big one. Ah. Okay, well, you'll get the idea. So, oopsie. I thought I had it. There's one right there. I knew I saw one. So here's a big one, and you can see how that has a detailed uh, cloud. That one's too big. But you can see how using some smaller clouds, they definitely would work really well there. I don't know if I have another small one. I'll have to cut one out. But I think that really adds another uh, dimension to that. So that's another thing that you can do, of course, with the, um, the uh, sky. So just to enhance that even more. So there we go, ladies. There's our finished card. Thank you for helping me. And yes, you just need to get these amazing dies. Uh, where's our camper? Here's our camper. It's a nice size camper. And then, of course, all the many, many different pieces. And don't forget that pearlized dot. I don't think it's dry yet. Let's have a look. Oh, I'm able to. Yeah, but it's squishing. So definitely not dry, dry yet. 
So I will let you know about that. I will post it on the same here with the video. Thank you, Deb. I'm so glad that you could join. I really look forward to Friday nights and seeing you. And if you don't catch me live, I always love to be able to see your comments and know that you were crafting, hopefully with me, or getting ideas. And if not, just relaxing and having some fun with us. So we thank you very much. Bye for now.